<laughs> Woo! What it is, what it is. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blast. Day today, man. Today, what are we doing? What are we doing for it today, man? Um, Sneakers dropped today like nobody copping. But what are we doing? Like, are we waiting? We waiting around for discount? Or is anybody actually copping today? Is anybody? That's my question. Because there's so many sneakers on sale. And I'm sure we'll see a lot of uh, sale signs in this mall now. I'm at the mall, by the way. Mall vlog. Yeah, you talking about? Uh, I, I mean, hopefully, though, we'll see some sale signs. Because, you know, a lot of sneakers been going on sale. Jordans, specifically. Most shoes going on sale. Air Max, is, you know, Adidas, stuff like that going on sale anyway. But Jordans, for the longest time, for the longest time, face ass. The Jordans weren't going on sale. Not only were they not going on sale, but they was not sitting. They weren't selling out. I think we pretty used to the sitting and sitting around thing because you know the oversaturation of sneakers being dropped and it goes in waves we always talk about this it goes up hype go crazy resale go crazy people everybody wanted to be a reseller the last time i mean i think everybody i think people quit their jobs and became full-time resellers last time we had that high and then it drops and plummets a lot of people lost their reseller job and had to go fill out applications and it goes in way and every time every single time we go through the down wave you get these, I ain't gonna say idiots. I ain't gonna say they don't know what the hell they talking about. But when you get just these people, they just be like, man, sneaker dead, bro. Like, it's all over with, man. Like, it's a wrap, man. It's all played out. Don't nobody care about no Jay no more. No, bro, y'all say that every time. And then what happens when the hype goes back up? Gotta have them. Must cop. Man, we can't get enough for retail, shout it. We can't get enough retail. Everything's selling out. Then you get that. It's actually people that's mad. People that's not resellers. That you can hear the frustration in their voice that shoes are sitting and going on sale. What's frustrating about that? I guess the exclusivity thing. People want to be the one of the few that actually hit on the pair. You know what I'm saying? And that's how resellers get paid. Because those people who want to be the one of the few that hit for retail, and then you have all the other people looking and jealous at the ones that hit for retail, telling them, I want my pair. Why I can't get my pair? Forget that. I'm getting mine. I ain't taking no L. I'll put another $100. I'll put another $200 and caught the shoe. I don't know. Y'all tell me if I'm rambling right now. I think I'm proving the point, though, about resale hype in uh, the sneaker game in general. But... Like I said, a couple sneakers dropped since I did a mall vlog last. The shoe dropped today. It's sitting on Nike sneakers and full size runs last time I checked. And it's a dope shoe, a shoe that would have sold out. Give me two years ago. Give me 2020, they definitely would have sold out. 2021, they would have sold out. Uh, 22, they probably would have stayed around for a couple of days. But now stuff is chilling and going on sale, man. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to do the feet check. And we're going to go in this model and see what they got going on. Do it! All right, man. Real, real quick fit check, drip check. Here you talking about? I got the Thriller. I can't remember where I bought this shirt from. It was on, it was promoted on Instagram. Uh, this Thriller Vintage T, like the actual Thriller video, you feel me? I don't know. It's a dope shirt. It's, like a, it's made like a vintage uh, shirt. Uh, jean jacket. A lot of people, I ain't gonna say a lot of people, but I heard a few people say denim jackets ain't in no more. Like, I can't keep up, so I, didn't, I ain't even trying to at that point. Denim jackets clean as hell, in my humble opinion. Anyway, uh, got a black cargo jeans on, and then we got them Travis Scott things, them fours, them cactus jack fours. Hey, you talking about that? I hit on sneakers out every time I wear these. I just, just, just relive that sneakers out win, man. And, how dope it was, you feel me? Anyway, let's go ahead and go into this mall and see what they got going on with all of these shoes being available for the sneaker community, man. Stone Chris Mall, do it. All right, we're starting off with Snipes today. I ain't been in Snipes in a good minute, man. Let's see what they got going on in Snipes. Yeah, man, so we're gonna start off with today's drop. Top four, number one we got. Gucci, two lows, 13 weeks, fear threes, and today's drop, the Air Jordan 1 OG High, uh, Yellow Ochre Fangs. Now, real quick, somebody was saying something that I didn't even think about. They was like, this is basically uh, um, Rookie of the Year. 
Now this yellow, if it had been a little bit darker, it would have been it would have been a rookie of the year color. But when the rookie of the year tone black, no, I think it was I think it was sell just like this. I don't know. But I can see why somebody would say that, but it's actually very similar, especially with that um, the materials, kinda of having like a new buck on this color and then on the, having a sale with a black. You know what I'm saying? These um these the collar flaps don't come back like the uh rookie of the year, but anyway I just did a review of these early uh, stock room review of this shoe. I, I gave y'all a pretty good look at them. This is a laced up look. Those weren't laced, but y'all come along and tell me what you think. They come with cell laces too. Uh, she just said nobody bought these today. Like, she had me about in the bottom. I'm like, nah. She said nobody. Nobody bought these today. So, nobody? Not one person. Dang. Yep, so needless to say, they just came out today. And it's about, they've been out for like four hours at this point. And, ooh, they buttery though, bro. And like I said in my review, it's a super clean shoe. And a few years ago, her saying nobody bought these would not have been a true statement because they would have been probably halfway sold out by now. But anyway, y'all come below and tell me what you're thinking. The Air Jordan 1 OG High. Especially when they start making them better, the shape better, the swoosh is bigger. And they wait till they oversaturate and make everybody tired of them before they start making them better. I don't know. They go on sale. Those might be one of the ones I get. And they just came out with a yellow one last year. So I think that got something to do with it too. Because those didn't even sell out. But these right here, Chicago color blocking with the dope yellow and the good materials, I definitely wear this shoe. And if it go on sale, I definitely cop this shoe. Anyway, comment below and tell me know what you, tell me what y'all think. Are y'all waiting because everything's sitting or do y'all just really not like this shoe like that? Comment below. Let your boy Rich know. I saw on Nike sneakers that these uh, these Barclays right here was selling out. They had like one or two sizes left on uh, sneakers out. But they are still available in stores. So if y'all want to get y'all some of these uh, Air Max Barkley uh, CB94 too, guys, get you some, man. You ain't available. What are you talking about? Got a Tatum, guys. Denim Tatums, bro. Oof. I can see like everybody who signed with Jordan Brand besides Michael Jordan shoes don't be doing nothing. I don't know. That's a weird little turbo turbo looking shape right there. I don't know. Air Jordan boot. Nothing. Nothing boots. Hey, you talking about this thing heavy hell too, bud. Why they put concrete, but that carbon fiber is like Batman uh tactical carbon fiber. You know what? And they got the brown colorway. It's all doing with the the nothing boots. Oof. I hold strong. I like the colorway on these new balances right here. The purple suede looking kind of clean, man. The bottoms are it are dynamic, though. But them bottoms look like they'll do something other than... Like it might have another use, but instead of walking on them, I don't know. Nick Van Exel, that's who it is, bro. Try to remember it last time. The Reebok Blast. Nick Van Exel. He's played for the Lakers. Had a had a, had a, had handles like crazy. Great basketball player, underrated. You don't hear about Nick Van Exel as much. Shot was fire. He ain't talking about. But they look like they made these Adidas out of that. You know how when you first put tar on fresh asphalt, that would that would these look like they made it. But they tough too, boy. They ain't, ain't, ain't they bulletproof. They might be bulletproof, y'all. I think Bruce Wayne got a lot to do with some of these shoes being made. This is basically the olive colorway put on an Air Max 90. Y'all thinking? I think it's kind of clean, man. I ain't mad at them. I don't like the leather though. I think when they do stuff like this, they need to stick with the suede. In my opinion, I don't know. Y'all let me know. And they got the Gore-Tex version and threw a little burgundy, dark burgundy maroon on them guy, bro. Gore-Tex Air Max 90, bro. I ain't really mad at these, man. They kind of cleansed. I don't know. What y'all thinking? So on top of old girl saying that not one person bought that suit, it's a dude that just came in that was saying. Man, he hard, but man, they sitting all on sneakers. I don't know how to take that. Maybe he was saying that because he thinking they gonna sit around and go on sale, or maybe he was saying that because nobody else buying them, why should I buy them? Which would be the problem with the game today, you feel me? I don't know, let me know what y'all think about that, bro. We are now at DTLR. Sometimes DTLR put the sales on. We gonna see what's happening. So when you first walk in the door, they showing the Harachi some love. We first walk in, how you doing? Uh, you got the blue guys right here. They ain't had it last time. I thought they sold out, man. I messed around to see these on sale, bro. It's over with, bro. The OG 
black and royal, deep royal, black suede. If I didn't get them Kobe's, bro, the Kobe's like this, I probably be. these more wearable than the Kobe's, but them hard. Then they got the um, this cream one right here that I saw last time, uh, cream and brown and stuff like that. But I haven't seen the Bordeaux colorway nowhere, except for online. I think Finish Line JD Sports got them online. And they already don't sell like $100 or something like that online, but I haven't seen them in hand yet. I would like to see that pair in hand. Look at these jaws. These John Morant look like it might be a GS or something. GS size. John Morant, who? 12? Since these look like kitty shoes, they probably, instead of coming with the extra clip and the Glock, these will come with like a Nerf gun or something like that. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Speaking of Nerfs, them KD Nerfs come out. Like I said, shoes like this back in the day, if it had some kind of like uh, theme or like uh, collab brand, like the Nerfs, they go crazy. Back back in the early, like 2012 or something, they called the Triple Black uh, uh, Charles Barclays. I can't think of the name of these shoes. <laughs> anyway, Charles Barclays, yeah, they got them here too, man. So if anybody actually wanted these and missed out, man, go to your local mall or they're probably online somewhere, you can get them. Anyway, bunch of stumpers at the bottom down there. The now readily available uh, Panda guys. I couldn't even think of the name of them. Anyway. I'm still sleepy or something. Bro, I really like the MX. It's something about it that I would change. And it's probably that swoosh right there. And um, I would, instead of going with this mesh, I probably would go with all suede. But these would be super hard. But they are just like this, though, man. It's a, it's a dope shoe. You know what I'm saying? Something you catch on sale, you be all right. I ain't going to lie. From a distance, they do look like rookie of the years. From a distance, bro. Okay, here go the sales right here, bro. Here go the sales. This is what I'm talking about. Like 149 for the... Royals retail was like 180, I think. 129 for the uh, Elephant Prince. You got 129 for the Chambray's. This is the most recent one that just came out that's already on sale. It's the Gucci, aka Christmas uh, Jordan Two Lows. 129, bro. They get down to 89 or something like that. Your bud be leaving with a size 12, bro. These for 139 IEs. These are hard. The OG uh, Reds. And you got OG neutral grays. All these AJKOs and zooms and stuff like this. All this stuff on sale, bro. These nothings should be free, though. These nothings should be free. Air Jordan Nathaniels. Hey, you talking about? Boss Nathaniels. Hey, you talking about? Boy, where, where that colorway come from? They done hit us with the infrared, varsity red guy. Everybody want this colorway on a Jordan 6, a regular Jordan 6, or a regular Jordan 8, or, you know what I'm saying? Even a Jordan 7. Give me a Jordan 7 with this black suede and this varsity red, bro. I'd be happy. But you're going to put them on the Boss Nathaniels. That's what you're going to, in the big Nike Air, on the Boss Nathaniels. Back on the shelf, you go, shouted. Y'all pissing me off. So, have y'all sold any yet? You actually have several pairs. So what's the difference between y'all and Snipes? Because Snipes say I ain't sold not one pair of men's. We're not Snipes. I, 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 mean, I mean, I mean, you ain't giving me, maybe you ain't giving me the real reason, yeah, but we, we go see. Foot, foot like air, foot like air. I gotta get that French accent down when I, foot like air. There we go, you gotta put a little, you gotta put a little bass in it, foot like air. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Every, man, ever since somebody said Rookie of the Year, bro, I can't unsee it, Shawty. Like, it ain't even showing like that on the camera. Like, with my own eyes, it's, it's not on this camera. It literally looked almost that same tan as Rookie of the Year. It don't look like that on the camera that much, but like in person, it looked like this is crazy. It's gonna make me cop one just for them because I sold my Rookie of the Years a long time ago. The house hit it hard, bro. I like that. I likes it. I was I had a hot city on one day and my son was like, I mean it clean, but you just can't go nowhere looking like you about to go to a game or something. See, I just I, like I said, I can't keep up, bro. I rock that hot hot city. I'm not gonna wear the hat and that with it, but I think I'll be clean with a fit. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting old, bro. Bro, I realize they did these. Bro, I seen this one before, but it they did it just like the um, Zoom Generations. It's like a newer LeBron, but they did it like. Cause look at the tongue, the shape. I mean, the, the color, especially how the color blocking is. Oh, it didn't. It's definitely it's an homage. Look at that. 10, 29, 2003. Was that your first game or something? Don't get me the line. I'm not the super biggest. Uh, first game, yeah, first game. I would say I'm not the biggest enthusiast. I don't know all the stats. I'm a fan though. 
Yep, first game. And it's, that's probably like some adult little shoe to have, bro. I ain't even gonna count. Just like a, a commemoration shoe, you feel me? I ain't mad at that at all. And then we have JD Sports. JD Sports. Uh, <laughs> I use a different accent for every store shot. I be liking these JD Sport exclusive, like Air Mac 95 they be having, bro. A little different little colorway they be throwing on these hoes. It's like a citrus vibe right there. You talking about? Ain't mad at them. Fam to the Vapor Max hype. I think it's just, I think it's just a shoe you buy. If it's comfortable, you'll rock it. But people ain't really like trying to. That was the that's the Tech Fleece shoe right. You gonna talk about a Tech Fleece? That's the Nike Tech suit uh, shoe right there. How you talking about? I think these Dunks dropped on Nike sneakers not too long ago. Um, pretty sure they're still available. See, Dunks, Dunks on deck though. Plethoras. They got like a whole Dunk section. Remember when Dunks was just selling out? Now you can get you some Dunks, yeah, for the retail in store. So this right here is sitting in every store. Not surprising. Champs the only one that don't have any sitting. That's because Champs did not get them. I think the uh, the color on the sixes that's dropping is this, this exact same color. And I feel like this color will look real dope on the sixes. Although, I don't know if the white on the sixes is white or it's, if it's sell like this because I haven't seen them in hand yet. I'm um, sure I can find somebody with a YouTube video that got them already. This look like something that would have been a collab back in the day, bro. Like, just the way they did the shoe. It look like something that would have somebody else's name on it. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, man. So, anyway. That was the mall for the day, shawty. I mean... Are we surprised by anything we saw? No, not really. Air Jordan 1 OG highs chilling like a villain in every store. Not really selling a lot at all. Not many pairs flying, bro. If you want to talk about in terms of hype and resale, yes, the Jordan 1 is officially dead. Not all the way dead because when they bring an OG colorway out, they bring a, bring a black and red leather or 85 high, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Chicago, stuff like that. It's gonna go crazy, but other than that, like the stuff he he actually wore and played games in. Other than that, Jordan ones, man. Unless it's a co crazy collab or something like that, you can get them. You can get them. You feel me? The Union Jordan ones, those did a whole lot less than I thought they would. But I'm not really surprised. I I just thought just because they was Union Jordan one collab that they would go crazy. Even though that weaved thing, like that split the shoe in half, I wasn't feeling. I didn't think that actually would make people not cop. I mean, you can get that shoe for almost retail. Um, but any, any, especially a Jordan 1 Union collab, you usually expect that to sell out. Um, regardless of how ugly it might look to some people, you know what I'm saying? So a shoe that quietly and slowly sold out that I didn't see for a long time in stores is the Air Jordan 3 Navy, the um, dark midnight Navy or whatever, the white and Navy joints. I thought they were going kind of quick and I ain't even realized it. I saw a GS pair in the mall and I was like, bro, I haven't seen a men's pair in the mall except for when I went to Lennox that one time the day they dropped. So um, that shoe pretty much gone. I'm sure the resale ain't nothing, but you just don't really see them sitting around like that. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. Comment below and tell me what y'all thought about this video, man. Tell me what y'all thoughts is. I want to hear hit the thumbs up like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already hit the notification bell so you can become a part of rich nation stand all the way up to the moon on them i liked it that time I, I, my soul was in it you feel me anyway keep watching the video could dash what i'm here for Go Make a stupid Ladera Take out my kiss in a para Rich like a king of fairy, yeah Yeah, Air Capitan, they callin' me jet like I'm Sparrow Straight up East Atlanta in my blood The streets got me twin like Tia to Mary, yeah Watch out with the Camaro Stay out my lane, it's too narrow God more, God more, stay in bless I'm keeping my eye on the Sparrow Man of the people you did, they singin' my name just like it's a Cara Cause my got the juice by the barrier. yeah I can't really help it, bro, they know that I'm the ish, yeah